Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I was about to be making my morning cup of coffee when I figured I might as well just record it. I didn't see a video on YouTube of how to make coffee in your Ninja coffee maker and this is actually a small batch of coffee. So let's get started. Okay, so the reservoir usually goes here. It just pops on and off. I did pop it off. It's easy to take off and to fill up. It's only me I'm making coffee for, so I'm just gonna fill it up to the number two right here and i just did that with water for my fridge and now i'm going to pop it right back on the coffee maker and then i am going to open up the top part of my coffee maker see right here it just pops right on open and inside you'll have your filter and then there's this other piece as well so those are already in there i already had them nice and washed and then i have my carafe also nice and washed, so I'm just gonna have that popped in there. So today I'm gonna use a Pike Place Roast. I like this one. I also have a French Roast, but I like the Pike's Place better. And then I'm gonna use my Ninja measuring spoon that's attached to the coffee maker here. I'm just going to put in one scoop per cup of coffee. So two scoops since I'm making two cups of coffee, which is interesting because on the back here, it says proportion two tablespoons of coffee per six fluid ounces of water. So it's different than what the back of my coffee um, bag says, but I'm just gonna go with the Ninja coffee maker. That's what I've been doing. And it's worked out just fine. The coffee tastes good, but obviously you can adjust your preferences. So I got two scoops in there. I'm gonna show you guys how to do some more stuff with this coffee maker. I really like the delay brew feature. Um, if I know I'm gonna be running around like crazy in the morning to have that pre-programmed. So I can do another video showing y'all how to do that. So once the coffee is in there, I'm just gonna close the lid up right here. You guys can see I already had my coffee maker on. And then I'm gonna make sure the small batch is illuminated. So this is up to four cups of coffee. Most of the time I am making a small batch. Um, so I make sure I have the small batch on. I like it on classic. If you prefer rich, you can have it on rich coffee as well. Let me try to zoom you in there. Okay, there you go. So you can see better now the small batch is illuminated on classic. And then after that, I'm just going to hit brew. And you can see that the stay warm light also illuminates. So if I don't get to my coffee right away, the plate is still gonna stay warm which is great so we'll be back in a few minutes when it's done brewing you'll know it's done brewing because it will beep do not pull it out before it beeps there may be starts and stops to the coffee making process but when it's done it'll beep is it gonna beep is it almost done you can see the reservoir is out of water it hasn't beeped quite yet my coffee it's pretty low in the carafe it's like down here but it is two cups i promise let's see I can leave you on for a sec if it'll beep. It's beeping, you hear it? That means it's done. A delicious carafe of coffee ready to pour. Make sure you guys give me a thumbs up if you like this how-to video. Subscribe for even more how-to videos and check out my playlist that I have linked down below. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.